Hey everybody, welcome to HTK Family Flippers, the old HTK vlogs. I'm gonna talk to myself for a couple minutes while I wait for people to hop on and hopefully join me tonight. I might mess with my lighting a little bit because it seems a little bit bright, almost like it's making me too dark. Is that better? I think that's a lot better. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm a few minutes late. I had the hardest time getting a setup going. I had everything all set up in the corner of our dining room table and Hayden is playing Xbox with his friends. So number one, the last thing he wants is his mom blabbering to herself in the background. <laughs> and number two, I don't think you guys all wanna hear him screaming at the Xbox. So we're now out on the breezeway and it's kind of chilly, but we're gonna make it, make it work. It's quiet out here. I think it's just gonna be me tonight. I don't know if the girls are going to join us. It's late-ish, it's after nine o'clock and we were up late last night. We had dinner with the Kelly crew. Um, if you haven't already heard, my friend Tabitha, she's the mom on the Kelly crew channel. Her and her husband Ryan and their kids sold their home, sold their vehicles, and are traveling across the United States this summer in a beautiful RV and meeting up with fellow YouTube creators. And we were one of the first on their stops. So there is a vlog on our vlog channel, HDK Vlogs. The link will be in the description box. It's not there right now, but it will be after this video is over. And to get to HTK Vlogs from the channel now, which you shouldn't leave the live video, um, it is linked right on the page, like under, under channels, I think. So we did a vlog with them on Sunday. We met up at a park here in our town and we showed them around and hung out with them and did a collaborative. We vlogged with them and they vlogged with us and both of our videos went live last night. And if you haven't watched them, when you're done with this live haul, go over and watch our vlogs with the Kelly crew. It was amazing. So tonight I'm going to be showing you what I, or at least some of the items that I thrifted this week. I think I have most of everything. I didn't do a ton of thrifting. And then I'm also going to be answering any of your questions about our time with the Kelly crew. So we, like I say, we hung out on Sunday at a local park and did the big vlog together. And then me and the kids went and had dinner with them at their RV. Remember, Tabitha and I have been friends for a few years through YouTube. So that's that's why we, we you know, were invited to dinner and it was an amazing time. So I see some people popping into the chat. Let me see what's going on. Um, and if the camera kind of shakes a little bit, I'm trying out a new tripod. I have a ring light now and like a, a, a phone tripod, so it might get a little shaky as I check comments. Okay, SVT Vlogs, hello to you too. Life is Haley says she missed us, we missed you too. Have you subscribed to the new HTK Vlogs channel? Because remember, this is going to be our eBay Etsy reselling channel, and then HTK Vlog family videos will go on the new HTK Vlogs. Coaster Boy, hey, how are you? No name. I In the last video, I responded to the, e I almost said eBay, YouTube person, their username is no name. And when I watched it back, it makes it sound like I'm randomly talking about, I don't know. I'm not making much sense. Again, it's after nine o'clock. SVT Vlogs hasn't watched our vlog. Yeah, definitely go check out our vlogs, our collaborative vlog with the Kelly crew. They are so good. Of course, theirs is like 10 times more cinematic than mine, but that's okay. Cause I mean, they are truly making this their life and it's absolutely gorgeous. They have a drone, they have, it's, fantastic editing. Mine wasn't too bad, but it was a really windy that day, so it was tough. Um, I'm not going to answer or talk too much about Hayden in these videos because Hayden doesn't want anything to do with the YouTube world, and that's okay. Um, okay, somebody, Life is Haley, there's another CP vlog, or is it the old one? I don't, I think maybe my HK vlogs. Yeah, this channel is now, oh, Cedar Point vlog. I know what you're talking about. Over on the new HTK vlogs, there's a Cedar Point vlog. It's an old, it's one of the old ones. It's one that's on this channel. The funny story, when I uploaded 
that it's it's the Cedar Point vlog number two. When I uploaded that vlog, I accidentally uploaded it to our second channel. Back then, that channel we used to do challenges and Q and A's and stuff over there for a short period of time. I was logged into that account when I uploaded that Cedar Point vlog. So it ended up over on that channel on private because I was like, oh no, I uploaded the wrong channel and I put it over here. Well, when I swapped everything around and named this channel HTK Family Flippers and made, made the other channel, the HTK Vlogs, I went ahead and made that Cedar Point vlog live over there just to try to start bringing in new viewers because our Cedar Point vlogs do really, really well. So it's an old one. It's not anything new. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started in on our thrifting haul because, again, um, that's, that's the point of this channel is thrift hauls and reselling and eBay. So if you have any questions at all about our new eBay business, feel free to ask them. And then also if you have questions about our visit with the Kelly crew, ask those as well. I will be, after this video is live, I will be adding the Kelly Crew's channel link down in the description box down below. But if you wanna find them in the meantime, just search the Kelly Crew, they're right there. Please, please, please subscribe to them. We have got to support their journey across the country. This is huge for them. They left Ohio today. They've traveled on to West Virginia. I've been following their travels very closely on the Instagram. Um, there is the Kelly Crew Instagram and then Tabitha, is she has her own Instagram and she puts updates on there as well. I'm assuming Ryan must be running the Kelly Crew one. So Tabitha's Instagram is Tabitha J. Kelly and it's Kelly with an E-Y, K-E-L-L-E-Y. So I've been following their Instagram updates obsessively today, making sure that they made it to their destination safely and they did. So let me get a sip of water in my new Kelly Crew cup. You'll be seeing this cup a lot. I, I'm really really want them to do well this summer so you're gonna be hearing about them a lot but I do need to get started on this thrifting haul because that's what this channel is all about now and hopefully we can start pulling in some reseller people people who like to watch reselling videos so let's get started I have I will stop to answer questions from time to time so go ahead and ask away the first thing that I thrifted this week I'm not going to show because it's actually a gift for somebody in my life and it's not somebody who watches my videos but knowing my luck that would be the video they watched and so I'm not gonna show it but the next item I have was in the thumbnail I have this knitted purse some type of woven knit it's not knit I mean I do knitting that's not knitting it's a woven bag I believe that it is handmade there we go. Let me see a little bit better. I believe that it's handmade. It has this little wood button. Um, it's really clean on the inside. The cool little fabric. Um, it almost seems like my guess would be somebody got it as a gift from like an aunt or grandma who knits and crochets and um, they didn't use it because it's an excellent condition. So let's see how much I picked this up at Goodwill. It was, I had coupons, so I thrifted two different places. I thrifted at Goodwill and I thrifted at a local like honey hole, small thrift shop. Um, I guess we're gonna do Goodwill's first since that's what I'm starting with. I had a $5 off, $10 coupon and then some things were 50% off. So this bag was $3.99 and I paid $3.15 for it when you account for the $5 off coupon. $5 off, $10 coupon. The next thing I have, oh shoot, I don't think I brought this out. Darn it. Well, you'll have to go to my eBay store to see it. I have this really cute, kitschy um, duck soup mug. It has little, like, the ducks with the blue ribbons. The handles of the soup mug are those ducks. It's so cute, but it's, it's listed in our eBay store. But, but I forgot to bring it out with me. So if you want to see that, you'll have to go to our eBay store which will be linked in the description box. It's not there now, but it will be at the end of this video. Once this video like relo reloads. Um, okay, next up, this is from the other thrift store, so let me get this. Oh no, it's not. These are from Goodwill, so let me show this. I've already photographed and I have these listed in our eBay store. So they're already all packaged up, but I'll pull out one. 
These are probably from the 70s, I think my research showed. They're little milk glass coffee mugs. They're yellow, and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Yeah, I think you're gonna be able to see it. Oh wait, my camera's over here. <laughs> Keep forgetting. Oh, there you go, you can see. See how they have like an orange peel texture? Orange or lemon peel texture? They're so cool. I have, I got the entire set of four of these. There's no marking on the bottom. Um, I got the entire set of four. It was $2.29 for the set, but then they were 50% off and I had an extra percentage off from that coupon. So I got the entire set of four for $1.15, which is 32 cents a mug. I am super duper excited about that. They're not gonna sell for very much. Like the set of four, I expect to get between $12 to $15 from it because they're not like the more desirable vintage mugs. But for 32 cents a mug, I'll take it. Okay, next up, my barrel mugs. Where are they? Here they are. Look how cute these are. I love these. I'm tempted to keep them for myself. They're so awesome. They're old little whiskey barrels. There's no mark on the bottom of them. They're pretty rough. Like there's some like rough little pieces of clay that didn't get cleaned up and just got like glazed on. So I'm assuming that they're handmade from a mold, possibly. There was, oh, is that a little chip? Mm, no, not really. Um, it was a set of three. And so I was going to sell them individually, but I broke one of them in Goodwill. So the girl gave me a dollar off. I felt bad, I told her I'd pay the, the, price, the full price, but she gave them to me. They do have a little bit of crazing on the glaze, which for those of you that don't know, I don't think you'll be able to see it. Crazing is like, when it looks like it's all cracked or scratched up, but when you run your finger over it, it's still smooth, it's just like cracking of the glaze under. So it's like um, in between the clay and the outer smooth glaze. Some people love the look of crazing, some people hate it, I personally love it. Um, but it is considered damage. So I paid the so the set of the two of these was two dollars, and because they were also 50 set 50 percent off, so I paid a dollar 17 a month. That's not right. Where did I get a dollar 17 at if they were two dollars? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I've lost my mind. I paid a dollar 17 for this so for the set of two and also now that I'm saying that I didn't pay 32 cents per mug for the yellow mugs I paid 32 cents for all four of the mugs I was reading my notes wrong 32 cents for this entire bag of mugs like I say they're only gonna sell for about 12 to 15 dollars plus shipping but 32 cents that was my best find of the week, probably, as far as profit goes. But yeah, these mugs, I paid $1.17 for both of them. I don't know what I'm going to list them for yet. They're not listed, but I'll figure it out. I would like, I mean, my guess would probably be 10 well, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't have any idea. I'm not even going to guess. Okay, what's up next? Oh, I'm so excited about this. Let me see if anybody's left any comments. Yeah, Coaster Boy says maybe I should keep those barrel mugs. I might. Let me tell you guys a little bit um, more. I'll give you a little bit more life updates. We were going to sell our house. Um, Will was out of work for a couple months of over the winter. And so that's not good, <laughs> obviously. So we thought about selling our house as a way to maybe like, I don't know. I don't know, it, things were very stressful. And in our stress-induced panic, I guess, we, we contemplated selling our house. And then Will got back to work and everything started smoothing out. But by then we were so dead set that we were gonna sell the house that we just kept going along those lines. And we started packing our house. Like I have, Kaylee's room is filled with moving boxes. Like my entire kitchen is packed. Not our dishes, but like all of the extra stuff that is in a kitchen that you don't use on a daily basis. Um, we did a lot of packing and a lot of cleaning out. And then I we kind of had an epiphany and we realized that we don't want to move and we want to stay in our house and it would be like the worst decision of our life to sell our house right now. And even though the market is huge and we could make a profit, but as far as like buying a new house, it's just not the time. So we've decided to stay in our house. But I'm still acting like we're moving. I'm still cleaning everything out and 
Um, I do need to unpack because all those boxes that I packed, I don't have to unpack. But I'm cleaning everything out and getting rid of the clutter and getting rid of the junk. We've been in this house now for going on 12 years. So there's a lot of stuff here that we don't need anymore. Things pile up fast. So in my process of clearing everything out and getting rid of all the stuff we don't want or need anymore, I've decided I'm going to completely redecorate. The whole entire house, except for my bedroom and the bathroom, has been repainted. Hayden's room hasn't been painted yet, but he's in the process of picking his colors. Um, so the girls' room is redone, the living room's redone, the kitchen's redone, and I'm gonna completely redecorate. And I have decided that I am totally redecorating my house with vintage stuff. Things that I find at the thrift stores and the yard sales, all like vintage. I'm, I want like modern grandma's house is the look I'm going for. And so, I mean, I plan to replace my dishes, we, we sold our couch, like our couch is gone. We have a little love seat that was back in my bedroom now that we've decided to stay. Like we were serious about moving, but I just want to replace everything and I want it to be cool and vintagey and I'm not even gonna stick to a decade. I'm just gonna do a hodgepodge of what I like from anywhere from the 20s to the 80s to, I think Kaylee's coming up to say hi. So anyway, as I find things at the thrift store that I really love, they're gonna go into our house. Let me check comments. We're doing good right now. Kaylee's currently trying to find a secret hidden message in my book. SVT, what book are you reading? She says she's trying to find a secret hidden message in her book. Hey, say hi to Kaylee. Hi. Just got out of the bath, huh? <laughs> Look, SVT vlog says, hey. Hi. <laughs> hi. She's gonna dry her hair. Okay. Yes, I'm outside. You're probably gonna hear cars and stuff going by. Um, I'm on the breezeway. You, probably missed it at the beginning. I was all set up to do this at our dining room table and then Hayden decided to play Xbox with his friends. And so we decided to stay out of each other's space and I let him have the living room, which is kind of connected to the dining room. So for those of you who since 2016 have been asking us for a home tour, you are going to get one this summer. Yeah, yeah. Once, once I get all the cleaning out done that I want to do, I'm going to do a house tour show you guys fully all the rooms in the house and then you're going to be able to kind of watch watch it get redecorated some of those video with the vintage stuff some of those videos will go up on this channel some of them will be on htk blogs this channel i'm hoping to do a three day a week upload um i'll keep you posted when that schedule is more set and then htk vlogs I would reasonably like to do one video a week over there and then put in any extra videos as we have them. Like but I'm not promising anything on that channel yet. Oh. This channel very soon will have a, a designated upload schedule. Um, SVT Vlogs is reading The Incomplete History of Secret Organizations from a Series of Unfortunate Events on Netflix. Fun. I don't know that book. But I do, I've seen the movie and I haven't watched the Netflix show. Okay, let's get back to our haul. These, there's a lot of glass. I was super, super excited about this. I've had my eye on these at the Goodwill for a while because I think they wanted $4 for the set. Let me see. Yeah, they wanted $4 for the set which isn't bad, but I couldn't find any comps on eBay or Etsy and I didn't look very hard either. But, I don't know, I just didn't feel like spending $4 for this, but I loved it so much. And this is another one that I'm like, hmm, should I keep it for my new redecorating? We'll find out. But, it's this really cute wood. It's a spoon. Now this, I, I probably wouldn't keep, because what would I use it for? People who collect, like, decorative spoons, it's a little spoon rack. And you could probably put, put plates on it, too, but there's no, usually when it's a plate rack, there's a ridge here, so that way the plates don't fall. But I do collect salt and pepper shakers, so I would, did think it might be cute to hang in my kitchen and set like my favorite salt and pepper shakers on it, maybe. I don't know. Then again, we'll see. I might sell it as well. But the really cool thing about these is there's this cool little like transfer on sticker. I mean, it's part of the piece that's nobody add this afterwards, but look how, look at that cute little, those birds. I don't know if they're supposed to be chickens or what. But it is dated, 19, copyright 1975 Corning. So, I have a date and I can research this. But look how cute that is. And then, my favorite part, has this matching tray. 
this little matching wood tray. Let me turn it so the light's on on it. But look how cool. Isn't that awesome? A little serving tray. And it has the same little decals. 1975 Corning. It does have a small little chip back here. So it's not exactly the colors I'm going for. That's why I think I probably will sell it. But if it's not going to get a whole lot of money, then I'll keep it for myself. We'll see. Oh, and this is a little loose. Oh, and it also looks like it's split right here. But that's okay. Like I say, I couldn't find anything like it on eBay. I might not have been looking hard enough because I was just looking real quick in the store. But look at that. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love this, love this, love this. So I didn't want to pay $4 for it because I'm super cheap right now. Um, I'm just trying to do everything on a budget. But it ended up being pink was the color of the day, and these had a pink sticker on it. They were selling them as a set for $4. They had a pink sticker, so I got them for $2. And then with my extra coupon, it ended up making it $1.17 for the set. So yay. That was worth it. I'm really excited about these. But yeah, actually both of the handles are kind of split. My guess is that's probably from being banged around at the Goodwill. All right, somebody left a comment about salt and pepper shakers. PJ, good to see you. That's my new person I just connected with through the Kelly crew. At least, yeah. Um, my grandpa used to make, used to custom make items like the salt and pepper shakers. That's so cool. Salt and pepper shakers are my thing. I collect them and I love them. I, I just anything vintage I'm all about, especially like the glassware and the ceramics. Oh my gosh. Um, okay. Next item. Oh, these. I haven't done any research. No research at all. I don't know if they're modern. I don't know if they're vintage. But they're these champagne flutes. Let me see if I can put this wood or something against the back of it so you can see it better. Is that how... See how they're like polka dotted and this is actually indented. And then the stem... I don't know. It's really... I think it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, I think six-sided stem. Look how pretty. And it's red. And it's not, fl the color's not flashed on. It's actually like, at least I don't think it is. No, I think the glass is actually stained red. I don't know. But look how pretty. So pretty. I wish you could see them from my direction, like with the light shining behind them. So I don't know if they're modern. I don't know if they're vintage, but they're super cool. And you'll have to keep an eye on our eBay store to see what they end up selling for. They do have a fairly, like, a little bit of a thicker rim. So I don't imagine if they're old or vintage, they're not super vintage because they're pretty sturdy. I mean, they could be from Target last year. I don't know. But they're super cool. Um, our eBay store, we sell anything and everything. It doesn't have to be vintage. Our Etsy store, everything is vintage. And most of it's just cross-posted over from eBay. But everything goes on eBay. I feel bad that I'm like, I don't know how much I'm going to sell these for, but I don't. And I don't know where they came from. Kaylee's in the chat. Hey, Kaylee girl. She must have gotten cold out here. Um, yes, PJ, I'm excited for the Kelly Crew upload tonight, too. You're going to get one more little glimpse of us. <laughs> We had a lot of fun. We had so, PJ got to meet, that's why I wanted to make sure for sure. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's the PJ that I met on Instagram. PJ is in the chat, and I don't know how to pronounce your last name or I would say it, but I don't want to sound silly. Um, he, got to, he got to be the very first official meetup with the Cali crew this summer. I've been calling us like the first kind of official one since this is the first one since they've been like physically on the road. But PJ got to do a meetup with the Cali crew as well. And if you go to their channel and his channel, you can watch their meetup. They met at the Grand Rapids Mall, I believe. Um, I, we had so much fun with them. I just, I adore, it was, it was great because for me, what was so cool is that Tabitha and I have been really good online friends since 2016 like sometime at the end of 2016 so to actually get to meet her in person was like ah so amazing i just loved it my kids loved them hayden my son who's 15 who doesn't really want anything to do with youtube doesn't really like youtube he's just not into it he 
went along with us to the dinner last night, which I wouldn't have forced him to, but he was like, he heard steak. And so he was like, I'm on, I'm in. Um, even he thought they were super cool. And even he was like, yeah, they, you know, they're cool people. Like, I get it. You know, I see why you like them so much. Um, <clears throat> Coaster Boy has some gingerbread salt and pepper shakers. That sounds cool. I don't have any of those in my set. Uh, Dudanets. PJ Dudanets. Dudanets. PJ Dudanets. Okay. Makes sense. So I would have said dud, not dude. So I'm glad that you spelled it out phonetically. Okay, next. I'm going to keep moving along. Um, I think that was it. I'm so bummed out. Let me just make sure. I'm so bummed out that I didn't bring out the goose mug. Kaylee, if you're still watching, go in my room and in the box on the wall, like where I still have some eBay stuff boxed up in. It's the same box that has the Mr. and Mrs. Claus sitting on the couch. Somewhere in there, wrapped up in white tissue paper like this, should be that goose mug. You know, like with the goose on the handles? Go into my room and see if you can find that. And if you do, bring it out. Okay. That was it for eBay. Not eBay. Oh, my gosh. That was it for Goodwill. So I got the, the bag, the woven bag for $3.15. The duck mug, which may be the goose. I keep calling it the duck mug. It's a goose mug. Um, oh, I should have turned down my phone volume. Um, I got that for 15 cents. The four yellow milk glass mugs were 30 cent, 32 cents total for all four. The barrel mugs were $1.17 for two. The little wood tray and spoon rack was $1.17 for two. And then the red polka dot champagne flutes, those were $1.16 for two. So I had a really good spend at Goodwill yesterday. It wasn't yesterday. On the 15th. Whatever day that was. I was excited about that. Okay. The small little thrift store, honey hole, whatever. I told you that I got one item that I can't show because it's going to be a gift from somebody. And I don't think they'll see this video, but I don't want them to see it by chance. Um, but whatever the item was, maybe I'll show it to you once um, they already like will have received the gift. I thought that it, because to me, it was so stunning and so beautiful, I thought no way will I get any less than $80 to $100 for this item. I really wanted it as a gift, but I thought for sure it was going to be valued at $80 to $100 resell. And I thought if it does sell for that amount, then I'll find a different gift for this person. But it doesn't. It only sells for like 20 bucks, which I was totally, totally shocked over because it's crystal and it's like gorgeous and beautiful. And Oh my gosh. So it only sells on eBay for 20 bucks. It just kind of shows how the value of things go up and down. And right now, Crystal has to be really particular to be worth much. Um, yeah, it only sells for like 20 bucks plus shipping. So I spent $2 on this item. My guess is that originally it probably sold for $80 to $100. So I'm definitely going to use it as a present. And I'm really excited about that. Okay, the next item that I got at this thrift store. I paid 50 cents for this vintage bottle vase. It's got like a bottle top and it has grapes and pear. That's a pear, more grapes. And it's, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. I put it against the white. Maybe you'll be able to tell the color. It's not quite a forest green like you usually see in the vintage glass. Usually they're very like forest Christmas green. This is a little bit more, I don't know, bluish, like a bluish green almost. And it is stamped on the bottom. It's a pressed glass. You can see here where the like mold was at. But it's stamped on the bottom, Dabs, D-A-B-S, Portugal. And I don't know if there's any way that you're going to be able to see it. There you can kind of see the Portugal. And here's the Dabs. And if I can remember correctly, I believe this re this resells for about $35 to $45, if I'm not mistaken. I remember being super excited because it was $0.50 cents and it was like way on the top shelf at the thrift store, like way, way back behind all these other more modern vases. And I grabbed this and I pulled this out and I'm like, that looks old, that looks like something. And it was. So it's a bottle vase. It's really cool and it's really pretty. 
if I was going to be doing like greens in my house, I would keep it, but I don't really have use for this color, but I love it. Let's check comments. Mm, Kaylee, hashtag it's about to go down. Yeah, it is. Kaylee, did you hear me? Can you run back to my room and in the box with the Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Claus sitting on a couch, the big box with eBay stuff in it? Will you look and see if the goose mug is in there? It should be wrapped in white tissue paper. Will you look in the box? You know the box that I have the eBay stuff in right now that like is like the freshly photographed, just listed stuff? In a white tissue paper, the little goose mug, you know, that has little goose yeah. handles? Go see if you can find that. So she didn't hear me on the video, but she heard me from sitting in my room. Okay. I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah. So, cool base. Love it. Next up, I don't have a whole lot from this one. Here's a Corel, is it Corel? Corningware, Corel, lost my mind. Corningware six cup, I keep forgetting my camera's over here, not over here. Corningware six cup coffee pots. It doesn't have, I don't know if it's supposed to have like the little metal, 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 I cannot speak, metal, like filter thing for the inside of it. I'm not sure. I saw one listed with it, but the most of them are just like this. They're just open. It's like a carafe. Um, yeah, it has the glass, glass lid. It's all, I mean, it's in great shape. Some of them are, the, the black is plastic, but the lid itself is glass. I've seen them in, it's a little melted, a little melted right there. It doesn't look like it'll affect it. Like I say, I don't have, if it's supposed to have innards for brewing coffee, I don't have that because I think it's supposed to sit on the stove and then it should have like a little metal basket here that you'd put your coffee in and then you'd sit it on the stove and it would brew your coffee. I think that's how this works. But I don't have a little metal basket, but I do have the little pot and you could use it as a carafe like this. You could put your coffee in it to keep it warm. But it has the, um, Cornflower blue, which when you think of uh, corningware, this is kind of the pattern that everybody always comes to mind. Um, it's enamel, metal. Yeah, no, no marks. It's really not marked up very much on the bottom. I don't think it was used very much. So I got this for how much did I pay? A dollar fifty. And I think, if I can remember correctly, it resells for like fifteen to twenty-five dollars. As it is, we'll see. Keep an eye on eBay. If you are, like, probably not at this point because we're really new and just getting started off and nobody in the reselling world knows us yet, but if you do see something in our video that you want for yourself, um, you can always check out the eBay and Etsy links in the description box. They're not there right now. They will be once I get off of here. I'll add all the links to the description box. Um, you can always go to eBay and buy things there but also if there's something that you see a lot of times this stuff isn't even listed yet so if you send me an email with using the email address that's down in the description box which is again not there right now but I'll put it there or contact me through Instagram or whatever if there's something that you are interested in purchasing just let me know and we can work out something um next oh shoot she must still be digging in the box and I have one more thing I need her to get so we'll wait for her to come back. Sorry, I can't find it. Okay, that's okay, you can't find it. But you know what you will be able to find? Yeah. On the big table where I take photographs, bring me the big mug set that's sitting there. Okay. It's heavy, so be careful. Um, oh, what is the rest of this stuff? Everything else I have in the box must be stuff I already showed you. I think it is. I was so excited. I was like, I have these really cute salt and pepper shakers to show everybody, and I just realized those were in the last haul. Bummer. Well, I do have a couple more items while we're waiting for Kaylee um, to bring me the things that I forgot. I, um, if you, you might know what this is, you might not. There's a thing called retail arbitrage, which is where you buy items on clearance or on sale at retail establishments and then you sell them for a higher price online. Hey, and you know what else I need you to get? The salt and pepper shakers that I added to my collection that I'm keeping. Oh, those ones? Yeah. Okay, I found these mugs. Oh, let me go back to what I was talking about. So, I picked these up at Walmart. They're napkin rings, Better Home and Garden. They were in the clearance section. If they had more, I would have bought all of them. 
but they're bronze colored. They were 50 cents and they sell online for $11 with free shipping or $11.99 with free shipping. So I couldn't pass it up. I wish there would have been a whole rack of them or I would have bought them all. Don't let that door slam. I'll be back. I'll okay. straighten my hair up. So um, I don't normally do retail arbitrage. That's more Will's interest. Um, I just like looking for the fun vintage finds. But if I am in Walmart, because I don't go to Walmart very often, I will buzz through the clearance section to see if I see anything that I might be able to grab and impress Will with my RA skills. And this this was my find this week. These Better Homes and Garden napkin rings. I wish they would have had a whole rack of them because they were only 50 cents and they sell for $12. So. All right, this is what I had Kaylee go back in and get. She can't find the goose mug, which I'm trying to think where it could possibly be if it wasn't in that box, but I don't know. Um, these are super heavy. These are stoneware mugs, coffee mugs on a wood rack. They're so cool. Look at that. Isn't those cool? I've never seen coffee mugs this shape before. I love, this is a little iridescent. I don't know if it's picking it up because of the light. It's a cool green color. These are made by Prado. Um, why can't, Pad, Padilla, Padrilla, I believe is the name of the artist. They're made in Mexico. They are signed by the artist. You can find them online. It looks like they're kind of like a Southwestern gift, like souvenir type thing. It, I found them on a lot of like Arizona giftware websites, that kind of stuff. They're a Southwestern kind of souvenir gift, but they're handmade and they're really solid. They're stoneware, they're beautiful, super unique. They come in all different colors. They come in a few different shapes, but this is the one that I found. I found this at my little honey hole. I paid $2 for this. Oh, I have that on backwards. That's okay. I paid $2 for the set of four and they sell for about $40 and $35 to $40. I think online, like if you bought them like from the gift sites, they're 50 something. So I'll probably list these for 35 plus shipping and then have it open to take offers. Um, so if like somebody lives far away and the shipping's ridiculous, maybe I can work out a deal with them. But yeah, probably 35 plus shipping for these. I'm super excited about those. So. And if they don't sell, I have the perfect person in my life that I'm gonna gift them to because it would match their kitchen perfectly. And then my last item at this thrift store, these were for me, I paid 70 cents. They, they sell on eBay for like three to $4 plus shipping. They are clearly Canadian salt and pepper shakers. These are going in my collection. It happens to be the wild cherry. This one's a little stained because they were actually used for salt and pepper. So this one's like a little, as much as I tried to clean it, you can still see the residue from the pepper, but how cool are these? If you don't know what clear the Canadian is, you are totally missing out in all the land in I think the 90s, probably more so maybe the late 80s. Clearly Canadian was a sparkling water essentially it was pop I mean really they called it a sparkling water beverage but it was super sweet and it was flavored and it was delicious and I loved it so much it didn't have caffeine um this w is advertising the wild cherry flavor my favorite was the blackberry and the loganberry they also had peach I did see where they had strawberry but I don't ever remember having the strawberry so I don't think it was one of the main flavors just like loganberry wasn't one of the main flavors but we did find it from time to time and then there was also raspberry. My brother really liked the raspberry, but I was all about the blackberry and the loganberry. Um, but everybody loved wild cherry, so that's why. And I think that was kind of the classic flavor, so I am glad that I did find these in um, the wild cherry. But it was the coolest drink, and I remember on Friday nights, we would order pizza, and my mom would take us to the grocery store, and you could buy them in a six pack, or you could buy them individually, buy like your favorite flavor. And I, we always got to pick out one bottle. I'd get one, my brother'd get one. And they were the best. They were the best like drinks in the world. And when they stopped making them, it was heartbreaking. And I think a year or two ago, they did a re-release and it was limited. And I think you could either only get it online and then maybe a few stores, but it never came to our area. 
Um, so that was kind of sad. But yeah, clearly Canadian and then New York Seltzer. If any of you grew up in the 80s and 90s, you'll remember New York Seltzer, maybe even the 70s. I don't know how long it was around before my time. But in the 80s and 90s, New York Seltzer, especially their cream soda, was an amazing like sparkling beverage. So good. But you can't find that anymore either. But yeah, so this is for my little collection, my salt and pepper collection. That's it. That's all. Um, I guess I do have one more thing. I just wanted to kind of show how there's all different ways that I source items for my stores. Of course, we have the thrift stores. I showed you a retail arbitrage item, how I picked up those um, napkin rings in Walmart. Well, this I found in Kaylee's bedroom as I've been cleaning things out. I sell things from around my house too. Like you just never know what you're gonna find that you no longer need or want or use. This is a cookie press. You can, if you're making sugar cookies, you roll out the dough and then you press this into the dough and then it leaves this little picture and you can sprinkle sugar on it and make it little cookies. It's from the Brown Bag Cookie Art Company, 1988 Hill Design Inc. And so it's vintage from 1988. These, I. I think sell like five to six bucks a piece plus shipping. This is a dog. Some of them are more rare than others, so I'm gonna have to look up and see if this might be a rare one. It was a package topper for her that I guess she got for Christmas a couple years ago from my aunt. And we don't make cookies like this. We would never use this. So we're gonna sell it. But yeah, that's that's how I get the items that I'm putting on eBay. I go to thrift stores, I go to yard sales. I'm hoping this come like the next thrift haul that you see or the next haul that you see from us, I'm hoping I'll have some yard sale finds. Yard sales are just starting to pick up in our area. And this weekend, this coming weekend, is a huge yard selling weekend because it's Memorial Day weekend. So hopefully I'll be able to have some yard sale finds for you and you'll get to see what type of things I can find in people's garages. But yeah, so we thrift at thrift stores. We pick up things that we see on clearance at regular stores, and then we find things in our cupboards and closets and toy boxes, which is where I found this, that we don't use anymore. We sell it, and it's all on eBay. Our store name is Knock Knocks, Knock Knocks Resale. I will link it in the description box down below. And I'm gonna check the comments to see if anybody has been asking any questions. Not so much, you guys are kind of quiet. Thank you. If, you. if you wanted to know anything else about our visit with the Kelly crew, now is the time to ask because I'm going to go. I have, we have a case of a missing shirt. Tara has to wear a specific t-shirt to school tomorrow and we can't find it anywhere. And it's bright orange, so I don't know how we lost it. But if you have any questions about us hanging out with Kelly crew, ask it now. And if you have any questions about the items that I thrifted and why I chose it and, or anything at all about reselling, now's your chance because I'm going to go hunt down this missing shirt and do a load of laundry and get around for bed. So, But I do want to say, I don't think they're watching. I'm sure they would have said hello in the chat. Thank you. My neighbor's driving by. I'm so embarrassed. I'm sitting in front of a ring light. This is so embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed. Do -do -do. Trying to act like I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Our breezeway is like wide open to the street in front of our house and I've been live for 43 minutes and not a single neighbor has driven past until now and I'm super embarrassed. I hope it's not one that has my phone number because they'll be texting me like, what are you doing? Anyway, I don't think the Kelly crew is watching, but when they do rewatch this, because Tabitha usually watches my videos, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We had so much fun. And if you are watching and you haven't watched our vlog and the Kelly Cruz vlog with us, go watch them now. Uh, their newest video should be going live anytime. Their videos go live at 10 p.m. every night, seven days a week. So you will be able to see us, probably, it depends if we made the edit or not. Uh, you will be able to see us in tonight's vlog too, but our big video with them was the one that went up yesterday. I believe it is titled The Hardest Thing or The Hardest Thing About life on the road, something like that. My video with them is titled Meeting My Internet Best Friend. It is on HTK Vlogs. It is not on this channel. It is on the new HTK Vlogs, which you can find um, linked in the little channel section. And I will put it in the description box down below as soon as I turn this off. Let me check the comments and then I'm gonna go. Um, Coaster Boy wants to know how I met Tabitha online through YouTube. We both had, I couldn't tell you exactly like who messaged who first or who commented on whose videos first, I don't know. But we both 
were kind of starting our channels at the same time. Her main channel had been, actually, I know exactly. I just now clicked in my head. We were just talking about this last night. Um, her main channel, I think, had been up for a, a little bit longer, but she was doing vlogs in Florida, and I somehow or another came across one of her vlogs in Florida, and I left a comment, and she commented back, and then she came and started watching some of our videos and had left a comment on one of our videos. And at that point in time, she had more subscribers than me, and it was, like, blew my mind that this person with, I think we had, like, 200 subscribers, and she had 4,000, something along those lines. This was on her main channel, not the vlog channel now, but I, it was a big deal. And so we started messaging back and forth, like, commenting to each other back and forth, and then eventually became better friends, and started like cheering each other on and supporting each other. She's done much better at staying consistent with her videos than I have. But yeah, we just found each other from watching each other's videos. Back way like when I very first started this channel. Um, PJ, thank you. I, that's cool that you're into this kind of stuff too. I, I love vintage stuff and like I say, I will sell anything and everything on eBay, but my favorite is just digging through and finding all the old cool stuff. All right, SVT Vlogs, good night. I hope I find Tara's shirt too. And I think that's it. I think I'm gonna go. Kaylee, do you wanna say good night before we go? Good night, bye. She said good night, bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will keep you posted on our Instagram. We have two Instagrams now, HTK Vlogs, which of course is where you'll get all the family vlog stuff, and then HTK Family Flippers, which is where updates for this channel will be. And that is where I will announce once I figured out what our official upload schedule is going to be. So keep your eye on those Instagrams. I think I said Instagram. If I said Twitter back to it, I meant Instagram. And otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, no, wait. You're not going to see us tomorrow. You might see us tomorrow. I do have a video that needs to go up, but I don't know if it'll be up tomorrow or the next day. So you'll see us whenever. Have a great night. Don't forget to subscribe and go subscribe to the Kelly Crew. Yes, Coaster Boy, I know. He's Santee Coasters on Instagram. I know that's you. Okay. This has been kind of a mess up with outro, but don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when we do post videos. And then go subscribe to the Kelly Crew. And subscribe to PJ. And subscribe to Coaster Boy. I think both of them and SVT. I think she has a channel too. So just check out all the people in the chat. See if they have channels. But I know PJ for sure. Go watch his vid video with the Kelly Crew and subscribe to him and Coaster Boy. All right, that's it. I'm going for real now. Thanks so much. Bye.